Hello fellow YouTubers and one six scale figure collectors. This is Lycan of the Underworld back with part five of my Space Marines collection by Hot Toys. This time it's Corporal Dwayne Hicks. This one is considered the grail piece of the five Marines. It's the hardest one to get and the most expensive one to get, mainly because he was the main Marine in the film. So without further ado, let's have a quick look at him. Again, same helmet as a poem. Uh, also comes with the camera mounted on the helmet, the gun sight, and the torch on his shoulder there. Same as all the others. Armour is the same as Hudson and a poem. A slight difference, he's got a decal on the front there. He also comes with the knife, the same as uh, Hudson in the sheath. And the pulse rifle, same as Hudson. So superb detail on these pulse rifles. And you have the shells that placed in the strapping there. So same armour on the legs, exactly the same. He also comes with the welding torch, which you can see, just about see there. And he has the holster with the handgun on the side, same as the others. Turn him around. So this guy's got a few pouches placed on him on the belt, and he has the tracking device, which you can see there, which is slightly different. There's a tracking device just thrown over his shoulder. And the extra weapon this guy comes with is his shotgun, which is inside the shotgun sheath there, which he used as backup in the film when they couldn't use the pulse rifles to shoot the aliens with. Again the helmet, it's got the guard on the back to protect his neck from attack. Superb figure this one, this is probably my second favourite out of my marines. So Hudson's my favourite because he's just got a little bit more with him. But it's a highly sought after figure, face sculpt, nothing like Michael Bean. There are people out there who have done their own face sculpts and placed on, which does make a difference. But I'll just keep them as they are, box fresh. So, as I said in other more previous videos that I've just done, um, if Hot Toys do bring these out, I would say that this would be another one that they will release. Hopefully with a better face sculpt for Michael Bean said I possibly might sell these as I said in the Hudson video. If they do bring these out again then it's probably a highly good chance that I will actually sell these. But for now I'm happy to keep them. So here's a quick look at Hudson at uh, not Hudson at Dwayne Hicks. So I don't think there's many people out there who have actually got all five of these. There's a few, but not many. Um, I wasn't going to get these, but I saw P2 do some videos on them. And I thought, yeah, they look good. I'll try and get hold of them. And I spent probably about a year trying to find them at the right price on eBay. And that's where I got them from. They were all brand new in the box still. I've still got all the boxes. I've still got all the boxes of all of my figures just in case I want to sell them at a later date. So there you go, superb figure. Okay, one of the holy grails of the old Hot Toys figures. So until my next video, this is Lycan of the Underworld signing off. Please leave comments. Until then, catch you later.